previously on RL Graph. I don't know why, but I kind of actually like that. It's ridiculous, but I kind of like it. All right, that's two gold boys. Look at them. They're so freaking adorable. Look at how adorable you are. Look at it. Feed you. Feed you. So, you've got levels, and you've got levels. Let's go. And now they produce books. Subject science. This is kind of just what I'm waiting on now, is for you guys to make me some babies so I can have more villagers. Please? I looked down at my phone for five minutes. Five minutes! I was away for five minutes and a swarm spawns and murders all of my- I haven't even made the villager farm yet. And they're all dead. Ravioli. Ravioli. Give Pog Dog the formula. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to episode 31 of Arlcraft. And oh my god, my villagers are breeding! I don't know why, they just. Okay, okay, hear me out. I was just setting up for this episode, right? I was doing a bunch of little stuff. I had a whole list of things that I'm ready to do here. And these dudes are breeding now! I just walked by them and I saw little babies. And I was like, oh my god! I'm not even ready for them to be breeding. Dude, that's insane! Oh my god! I don't- I don't know why they're breeding. But yeah, what is up everyone? <laughs> Welcome back to RL Craft. Um, I was in the process of kind of clearing up that building. I'm not gonna turn around because I don't want to show you what's behind me yet. Um, I was- I was cleaning out the books from the chests over here so we can finally be gone with this building. But uh, yeah! My villagers are breeding! And I could literally, like, let small ones out like this, I think. I'm not sure. This is not even prepared to actually make villagers, but here we are with villagers. I have to make it, like, safe. I have to build a lower ceiling so stuff can't spawn as much in there. And I was gonna put a nymph in there. That is so great! We have villagers now! They're just kind of breeding! Um, so anyways, a lot has changed since the last episode. I've been working a little bit on this room and making it better. Uh, as you see here, I made a sugarcane farm. It's nothing too special. I tried to make an automated sugarcane farm, like I had previously said I was going to. However, I didn't think about how the drops work in RL Craft. And I sat there and I tried to, and it, it was so overly convoluted that I was kind of just like, you know what, I, I don't care. I'm not going to bother. So I, I didn't bother. So here we go. Here's a little sugarcane farm we got going on here. We just kind of harvest our sugarcane, pop it into a chest, and yeah, we have greenhouse glass up top, so that way we can continue to grow crops during any time of the season. Uh, because sugarcane is a seasonal crop, you can only grow it during certain seasons. So I had to do it this way. And I've been breeding our bookworms, and now we have two sets of bookworms here. We got these two boys, and we got these two boys. I also swapped out the chests for crates. Um, a lot of people have been saying, have been saying that uh, I should use crates, and I'm not going to use crates for all of my storage, but I will use it for some. And oh my god, you guys made me a mending book! Oh, you guys are great. Let me let me feed you guys because of how great you are. Also, for some reason, there's like a bug when you feed them that stops you from being able to continuously feed them. I think it has to do with the inventory settings that I have. If I switch over, it fixes it, right? But otherwise, they, they just stop taking stuff out of an inventory slot. And it always gets stuck on the last book, like this. But yeah, we got a mending book from you dudes. Spellproof, Curse of Binding... But yeah, now they have four crates for each of them, just so that way they can kind of poop out books more efficiently. Uh, we've got you right here. Magma walk. Ooh, magma walker. It's kind of cool. I can use that when we go to the underwater strider. Faster swim speed if the player in question is fully submerged underground? Fully submerged underground. That's a weird... That's a weird enchantment. I, I, don't, I don't know. You guys have been making me so much. Uh, so we also got two more boys over here. Uh, one of them is the original one. And if you look here, I upgraded my 
I upgraded my weapon wheel so I can store more stuff. I have my weapon and my bow, like my two good weapons, in there for now. Just so that way I don't have to worry about my inventory while I'm doing this. And if you notice, I've been working on this room more. We've got this back wall. It's unfinished. I've got a few spots down there that I need some more. I need more red flowers so I can make more of these. And I'm not sure. I don't think I showed you. But I do have a new villager. It is a efficiency 5. Nothing special. But I figured I might as well grab him. Why not? Interesting story. I actually grabbed a... Uh, what's the name of the enchantment? I don't remember. It's the enchantment where every time you kill something, you get like 0 0.05 bonus damage. Mortalitus, I think. I got a Mortalitus 5 villager. And trying to get him in here, he was being a jerk, so I punched him. I have Strength 2 and Haste 2. So, quite literally, I can one-hit these guys. So I, I one-punched man him, so he died. I was very, very upset. So the question is, are you guys going to continue to reproduce? Okay, he's over there. Are you guys going to continue to reproduce? Or, like, what's going on here? Because I hope it's still- I hope it's just fixed now. Like, it's just going to work. I wonder, what did I change that made it just work? Is this literally- Oh, look, the little guy got some crops. This literally just started to happen. And I think they have to fully grow up for them to become- Wait, 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 wait. Did that guy have a blacksmith robe on, or am I just seeing things? Oh, no. So he's a blacksmith, or a toolsmith. So I guess if they have... If they have the white cloak on when they're small, then that's when they'll be a librarian or a cartographer. Honestly, this is not going to work too well. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah. I've been working on this room a little more. I got this wall kind of built up over here. And I added on to this area. I put some cake here, because why not? Everyone likes cake. I put some crates here for my lapis blocks, my lapis, and books. I can enchant faster. I got over here beginning to be something. Uh, we have a disenchantment table. Uh, I renamed all of these with an underscore, so that way they show up when you look at them. We got our potions right there. I'm gonna make a wall of brewing stands. And this is just our kind of trash enchantments over here. This is essentially what we're going to use to feed our bookworms. Whenever I run out of, you know, enchantment, this is what we'll use to feed our bookworms. Especially since now we have four crates, essentially what we could do is we could always be feeding them enough stuff that they will produce, you know, a good amount of books. Like, let's see what we got over here. Advanced sharpness too. That's a keeper. Blocking power. Keep that. Another depth strider three. That's convenient. And now that I have all these enchantments, I've been beginning to organize over here. So we kind of have like an unbreaking chest, unbreaking three, we have a prot chest. I got, these three books are going to go under armor this episode. I got advanced prot four on a piece of armor that I found out in the wild. That is crazy. It's going on my chest piece. Um, oh wait, I made it. Oh, I don't need a feather falling chest. I got to change that. That's weird. Um, you have a subject enchant chest. These are definitely going to change up as I go. Oh, uh, you have sharpness, smite, and probably something else will go in there. This is our weather slash time enchantment chest. So like dark shadows, attacks deal extra damage if both the user and the target is on the same dim area level. That's also going to go for like, you know, clear skies favor and other enchantments like that. We have bow enchantments. Uh, in here is our sweeping edge chest. We have a efficiency chest, silk touch and fortune chest. Also threw in diamonds everywhere. Um, we have shield enchants. We have adept education chest, which also has luck magnification in it. And then right here we have like boots, legging, chest, and helmet enchantments. And over here is kind of just, you know, whatever I feel like adding. Kind of got to get a feel for, you know, how many enchantments I'm expecting to have. You know, I'm really not sure what made him start breeding. It was just winter season. Ooh, wait a second. Wait, when, when do carrots grow? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. When do carrots grow? I, I have big brain idea. Hold up. Carrots? When are they fertile? During the spring and autumn. So when I made this farm, it was... I don't know which season it was. But it was towards the end of the year, right? And then winter just came. So like as I was setting this up, it was winter. And it just became spring. These guys started making babies right as it turned spring. So maybe because carrots are seasonal, 
Oh yeah, I can put I can put greenhouse gl glass over top of this. Maybe that's the solution. Maybe it was the season. That's crazy. Anyways, um, I want to show off a lot of XP that I got. I decided off camera. I was just hanging out with a friend, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill one of those towers that's full of mobs. And I got, I had over 130 levels. Uh, so we're gonna use these levels. And we're gonna upgrade our armor here. So we're gonna take our advanced prot 4. We're gonna take depth strider 3 and strength and vitality 2. And we're gonna make, we're gonna make a new chest piece kind of. Um, so quick thing here, I think, let's say I try to just add advanced prot. No. It's not gonna work because prot 4 is already on there so i would need to make an additional an additional dragon piece right and i would have to combine them the only problem is i'd have to make it as my primary so i could take this and give it an aussie liner and i can make it a higher quality uh what quality is this one wait it doesn't even have a quality i never gave it a quality what is wrong with me Jeez, why is this taking so long? Look at these. Magic shielding, really? Oh, here we go. Knockback resistance, armor, and armor toughness. It's masterful. I'll go with that, I I suppose. I guess that's good enough for me. Um, so what we could do... This one's only got mending? Hmm. So what I could do is I could add... So let's say I put strength and vitality 2 and advanced... No, I'm kind of scared to do that, I'm not going to lie. Um, so what if I put Strength and Vitality like that? Yes, Strength and Vitality 3. Then we take this, and we throw... Okay, I'm I'm poor again. How, mon how many levels did that cost? I didn't even look. Oh my god. That is absurd. So, levels, levels, just in case. And we're gonna take this chest piece... Give it advanced, where to go? Advanced Protection 4. And I guess we should name it too. This is going to be the new one. So we're going to name it... Ah, uh, yes, the perfect name. We're going to call it Absolute Unit. <laughs> so Absolute Unit is going to be combined. Big moment of truth. Advanced Protection 4. Wait, something missing? No. Advanced Protection 4. Strength and Vitality 3. Mending and Unbreaking. I don't have enough levels. I don't know how many levels this is going to be. This could potentially be very rough. So we're going to get a whole bunch of these. I can't believe I'm spending this much on this. To be fair, I'm not going to get the golem chest. It's garbage. And the rest of the golem armor I'm not actually interested in. Advanced prot 4. Strength and vitality 3. Mending. I'm breaking 3. Advanced prot 4. Strength and vitality 3. And mending. I'm breaking 3. Let's go. It costed me a hundred levels. But I've almost got three full rows of hearts now. That's pretty pog. Alright, so we're going to add Depth Strider to the boots. Um, I'm also going to re-roll the quality of the boots. I now have 19 Sea Serpent skills. Hopefully, I just, I get, no, wrong thing. Hopefully I get it in one go, because I don't want to waste all these. Crumbling. I mean, that's better than what it was. I'm not trying to waste them all. I'll take magic defending. Uh, we're gonna need more XP. I just, I just wasted all of that experience on this. You know, this wasn't even the goal of the episode. Like, I was gonna do this. But I, I have other goals for this episode. Uh, so Depth Strider 3. Too expensive! Can I put upgraded potentials on armor? You know, let's get some emeralds and let's see if I can do that. Let's see if... Oops. Not Pog. Let's grab some emeralds and let's go grab a book. And let's see if I can put upgraded potentials. And come to think of it, I should have put that on my chest piece. But I'm pretty sure upgraded potentials is not for... I don't know. Ooh, XP. I cannot get... Oh. Maybe... Maybe you can't put that on a, on armor. I don't know. If you can, then I just wasted 100 levels. Oh my god. I just wasted 100 levels on my chest piece. 
100 levels! You know what? I don't care. I don't care, guys. Don't- Do not at me in the comments, okay? It's okay. It was worth it. XP is very easy to come by in this world. It's just 100 levels, you know? I still got- I still got those, sad face. I still- I still got some full ones. I still- Oh man, I cannot believe I, I just did that. That's so bad. That is literally the worst. Alright, well, let's give this an Aussie liner. I meant to do that in the first place. So, it's got an Aussie liner now. Boom. We got lots of health. We've got Depth Strider 3. You could put upgraded potentials on it. I didn't even know. Oh my god. Guys, please leave a like on this video for my suffering. This, these videos take a lot of work. And that's, that's a lot of suffering. That is a lot of suffering. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, smiley face, winky face. We are heading for 4k. Um, anyways, okay, so I would like to do the armor, or sorry, the uh, shield as well. So I was thinking like mending for the shield. Just so I could stop having to repair it. And then maybe... Does the shield have unbreaking? It does. Mmm, I wonder if you can put a depth on a shield. Since it's in my hand, I wonder if... Hold up. Hold up. This is it's probably not going to work. But it's just, a, it's an idea, right? No. No, you can't. Uh, let's just throw mending on it. Screw it. How much is that? Boom, mending. Now my shield will also fix itself. It's got unbreaking, so it won't eat that much XP. We'll be fine. All right, next up is the moment of truth, since I know a lot of you have wanted this for a long time. You've been commenting on it every episode about it. Stone of the Sea! What does it do when war and the wearer can move swiftly in water and has infinite air when on their last air bubble? I already had infinite air, and I think it also purifies your water when you drink it, which is kind of pog. Um, hard plus one armor? Does it cost XP to roll? Attack damage, plus one heart, let's go, yes. All right, what to replace with it is the problem. Um, I know, oh man, see, here's the thing. If I take this half, if I take the broken heart off, first off, that thing is like a way to save me from dying, right? Not gonna say that I can't die, but potentially if I were to die, it would take away a heart and continue to do that. Like when, a while ago, what happened when I got killed by a dragon? So, I mean, uh, this is why I didn't want to make this. It also took away half a heart. This will give me one heart. Wait. Oh, wait, does it go for the balloon? Oh. I mean, the balloon gave me extra jump height. Negates some fall damage. Hmm. No, all of my jump height. You know, actually... I kind of don't miss it. I low-key kind of hated jumping that high. Like, it's cool being able to jump that high. But it's also kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know. I feel like this is only really useful. It's only useful when I'm in the water. So, I think I'm only going to use it in the water. Because I kind of like my jump height. Also, my villagers are making babies now. They're making babies. Can you guys make babies faster? You know, let's see what our new let's see what our new friends make. Let's see what you guys do. You're still a farmer. Uh, you're also a farmer. You're a Fletcher. I already had you. You're also a farmer. Weaponsmith. Just an iron axe, but he takes coal. Kind of pog. And a farmer. And I already had you. Okay. Well, Farmer Browns, over here. Yeah, let's go see if we drink some water. If I, uh... Let's, let's put some water down real quick. And let's see if when I drink the water... If it actually does the thing. Or no, let's put this Let's put this away. Let's just go in here. Look at that. I can drink water. I'm still gonna run... I'm still gonna run this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm still gonna run the balloon. Whoa, lag. Okay, so... Next order of business. We're going to get this house empty. All of our dog arenos got to come out of here. And I have a good idea 
of like a nice send off for this house. And I think you're all gonna like it. Come on, doggos. Come over to the new pad. Yeah. We're gonna put you in here. We're gonna put you guys over here. Come on, guys. We're gonna sit you over here for the time being. Come on. All right, we got Shadow. Come on, boyos. We got Patches the second, Senpai the second, Merlin the second. Somebody's missing. What the? Pog Dog! There we are. Pog Dog the second. Come on, Pog Dog. Another challenge we're gonna do is we still have to make this armor better, right? This armor is still baby armor. We need to give the dogs crazy good armor, so eventually we're gonna upgrade that as well. Um, I have to finish emptying the chests in this house, and then we're gonna make TNT arrows, and we're gonna blow this place up. This place is dead to me. There's still, oh man, there's still a lot of stuff over here though. Look at all this lapis. Look at this unreal amount of lapis. Alright, I'm gonna clean out this house, and then we're gonna blow it up as a send-off. No more house. And then I gotta make another wall to cover this, this area. And eventually we have to worry about casing in this part. So we're, we're making good progress. We'll get to it. We'll see. Look at these guys sharing and caring. Please make me more children. Make some with dank enchantments, preferably. I would like more enchanty boys. They've got so many carrots they don't know what to do with. Uh, anyways, I finished cleaning out the kind of inventory over there. So what we're going to do now is make some TNT heroes. TNT heroes are great. So I've been looting lots of TNT. Plus, I've been taking all gunpowder the entirety of the series. I've got a lot of gunpowder. Gotta go get some sand eventually, but we really won't need it anyways. So we're gonna take a stack of TNT, and I don't remember how to make TNT arrows. I think I favorited them. Ah, so four arrows and a TNT. We take four stacks of arrows. I guess it's another good use to keep arrows for because I've stopped actually looting arrows. I don't need them anymore. And I've taken all the important stuff out of that house. And here we go. We got TNT arrows. We're gonna blow this boy up and say goodbye. Say goodbye to our beautiful house. I forgot those chests were full. Ah. Uh... Oh boy. Uh, do I care is the question. Do I care? There is a lot of stuff in these chests. It's just... Ah, uh, there's wood though. The wood I care about. Let's take... I'm not going to take all these enchantments. I, I, I don't care that much. That's too much work. Not worth it. We're going to take all the wood though. Alright, I got most of it cleaned up that I actually care about. There's not a ton there that I really do care about. All of this stuff that's on the ground, I'm probably just gonna let disappear. It's mostly just enchants that dropped from when I, uh, when I was digging out this area, right? It was from my lucky, my lucky ability. All right, let's blow this boy up. Um, what? Did, is that bugging it out? Yeah, for some reason that bugs it out. Oh, you guys show up. Oh, I can't even... Hold up. Hold up. I don't have my weapons. Stop it. Stop it. Forgot about you guys. Alright. Boom. This is like the easy and fun way to destroy buildings. Goodbye, my old abode. I'm sorry for I have forsaken you. This is- this feels really good. I'm just hoping I don't accidentally shoot the Aegises and have to kill them all. Oh. Get out of my face. Oh, there's that weird buggy block. So apparently some of the villages are built with, uh, like wooden slabs that aren't actually wooden slabs. And they don't have a texture when you break them. That's what they look like. The more you know. Very interesting. So I guess we can use this time 
that I have while I'm just blowing up this building, which arguably takes longer than just breaking the blocks. But it's more fun this way. Um, I can use this time to talk about like future plans for the channel. So I definitely continue to, con to continue this Arlcraft series. You know, for a decent amount of time, at least 50 episodes, I think. Um, but eventually there will be things, like, I will run out of things to do. And I do want to do a hardcore series, of course. But there's also other stuff for Minecraft that I'd like to do on the channel that I was thinking of. So, for example, I was thinking of doing, like, one block skyblock. Which is this really cool skyblock series where you get one block and it goes through, like, phases as you break it. And it spawns mobs, gives you stuff, and you can build your, like, skyblock base around it. It was a very fun experience. I still want to do hardcore RL crap, of course. And um, for a while here, I've been teasing at like a video that's going to come out in December. Um, oh, wow, my frame rate has dropped from all these drops on the ground. And that video is actually going to be um, 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. Which I know, it's not... Aw. It's not like super mega original for a series, but I mean... What is what is original at this point on YouTube? You know, everything's been done for the most part by somebody. Uh, but I've already recorded a lot of it. I have to do some of the voice recording for it. And then I have to edit it together. So we'll see when that's going to come out. Not sure. Hoping that video does really well. And then next year around when 1.17 fully releases. As in, I'm not playing the snapshots. I don't really want to play the snapshots. Uh, when 1.17 fully does release... I would like to do a let's play on hardcore of that. Not a 100 days, an actual like let's play. Uh, but that's going to be like midsummer is around when that comes out. And I was thinking I can continue the 100 days series for 1.16 until then. So, you know, like 100 days, 200 days, 300 days, 400 days. And we'll see. We'll see how far we get from there. Uh, within the first 100 days, I do plan on being the Ender Dragon. And no spoilers, I'm pretty proud of how far I have gotten. Let's blow up the enchantment area. Suck it, enchantment area. This is this is really interesting, because it's just... We have spent the entirety of this series. My channel has grown so much, and I've met so many new people. All while being inside of this house. Why are the Aegises up there? That's weird. So like, I'm just like exploding history in a way. I could have kept this over here, but it's kind of in the way. And I, I don't really, it's a Minecraft structure that spawned and I built onto it. It's not that sentimental. Um, so after I blow up this, the goal for the episode, as you've probably seen by the thumbnail, is I have a couple of areas marked off that we're gonna go and we're gonna grind for Wither Skulls because I've got a decent amount and I needed 39 total and then we can build our last two beacons in the center of our new base and then we will officially have all four beacons which is pretty cool it's overkill don't get me wrong I don't need it but it's still pretty cool so I'm probably gonna finish cleaning up this disaster of an area over here build the wall close it in fix the ground and I will see you all when we go to farm some wither boys. Um, okay, so real quick, I wanted I wanted to show you guys something. Um I just this is gonna be insane, right? I don't think this part of the sea or this this stone of the sea is gonna work out. I don't know. Right? So I was collecting all the drops and I walked through the water and I was like, ooh, I'm fast now because of Depth Strider. Yeah. And then I thought, you know, there's water right here, let's test it out. Let's put the stone of the sea on, right? What could possibly go wrong? Nyeom. 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 I move so fast in water. I move faster than I do on land. This is how fast I move on land, right? Nyeom. That's how fast I move in water. This is insane. They stack and they multiply each other. That, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to take it off for now. I just want to show you that. I kind of want to go explore some water this episode too. I don't know. Maybe maybe next episode we'll do the water dungeons I've been marking off. I've been marking off some water dungeons because I've wanted to do those. And maybe we'll go ahead and do that. I also, I do know that I did say, wow, that's a lot of drops. Wait. Oh, it's the rest of those drops. Let me get rid of these. Come over here. You see right there. 
I, kn I know I've been everyone's like get a dragon get a dragon and I've been looking on off like off camera every once in a while and finding dragon's dens takes a lot of time ideally I would have done it this episode where I was like hey we're gonna do dragons but it takes a lot of time to find their dens so I'm not sure when we are gonna get a dragon we will definitely get a dragon but just know like not to expect that dragon coming very soon because I don't know when we're gonna find one and more importantly, I don't know where I'm going to put it, since I don't even have an area where I can store dragons. He's not going inside of my base, because he will destroy it. And I'm not, not having that. That's not... I've worked hard on the base that I have so far. I mean, yeah, it's a mess. Not a lot of it's done. But I've still worked very hard on it. You know, I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. This is a... Oh, I missed a spot. This is weird. This is like a surreal feeling. Having all of this area gone. And look at that. Outside, brand new. Nothing ever happened. Explosions? Nope. Not here. Wait, is this... Oh, no, I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, no explosions here. Don't know what you're talking about. Let's light it up a little bit so nothing gets encouraged to spawn out here. Not trying to live that life. And voila! Our original house is gone. And there's one of these spots. If you right click the spots I learned that they sometimes fix. Also this dude, this dude's gotta go, sorry. You shouldn't really kill them, but like if he combines if with a, with the Aegis, he makes a Sylph. Sylphs suck. All right, you guys, you gotta keep breeding, please. I hope that they don't bug out and have like a limit on how much they can breed because they shouldn't, but they've been producing me carrots and I kind of just been picking them up. It's pretty cool. I also upgraded this again and decided to bring my shovel and the saw with us so we can make wood whenever we want in our hotbar. And this is actually the maximum size that you can make it. Uh, I might get rid of one of the bows if I ever decide to add anything else. I don't know. For now, I should be good though. But we're actually going to head out and we're going to explore those two things on the map with the uh, wither spawners. And we're going to get lots of wither skulls. But real quick, two things. I put this here for now. I might move it in here. I don't know, whenever you place it, it goes all the way to the end of this list and I have to individually do this through every single one of these. So, but I named it Enchantment Room, so we have another waypoint. And if we go back to look at our Wither Skulls, this place is really coming along, I like it. Uh, if you come back to Wither Skulls, we have 26, so I need 13 more. That's super easy. So we do have Advanced Looting 3 and Luck Steel, sorry, Luck Steel, okay. Luck Magnification 2, so that should make that pretty easy. Then I decided that over here is going to be like my kind of like bedroom spawn area. Once I make it look nice, got a lot of work to do with that. Probably going to do that off camera. But let me go find where I marked these on the map. Because I had explored the map, right? I, I was doing some more exploration. And I marked a couple of stuff. Unge like Ocean Dungeon Episode, Ice Dragons... A whole bunch of villages out there. Hell Tower. Kill me? Ice Dragon? Yeah, Vanilla Water Temple. Ah, I'm not, not saying what that is. Kill Princess. That's another episode we have planned. It's another dungeon. So it's not there. What do we have up here? Gorgon? Nope. Gorgon can suck it. Uh, up here, Big Rare Temple? That's another mysterious thing. Ah, Wither Farm Episode. I think... I named this one. I think it's one of these. All right, here we are. I've also been checking every single, uh, I've been checking every village for stuff and I've not found anything yet. I'm going to put on this real quick. Only because I'm curious. I want to see just how fast I actually swim. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is unreal. What? This is literally unreal. What is going on? Look at how fast I move in the water! My dude! I'm literally faster than those guys now. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take that off though. I don't actually need that for this. You know, I didn't even notice this, but I guess this village building spawned like directly... Like directly by this. So if you go right down here, there's literally a forge. 
It's it's got all this stuff. We're gonna take the diamond sword. We're gonna take the gold sword. Taking the iron sword. Leaving that stuff. Don't care. Full set of diamond. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I take the gold. Yes, please. I need a shulker box. Look at these. I already have shulker boxes that have stuff in them. If I loot stuff, um, for now on, whenever I see, like, mob towers and stuff off camera, I will probably be looting them because I've done enough mob towers on camera, I think, at this point. And I don't want to bore you guys. I mean, if I see them, I'll probably quickly rush through them as well, but that's kind of what I've been doing is rushing through them because if I stop to do every little mob thing... It, it's going to take forever. Luckily, there are a lot of structures now that I no longer need. That I kind of just, you know, skip. Alright, so we're going to start out by going to the top. Since I... This is where a bunch of the wither skeletons and stuff are. Come on, buddy. Hey. Alright, well, I'm going to steal your stuff while you're just standing there. AFK. Ooh, okay. Potion rings of strength. We got some potion rings of resistance. Luck of the sea. Depth strider. It's also kind of bright outside, so I don't expect a ton of these guys to spawn. Dude, these chests are just so nice. We got Prot 4, Respiration. Respiration's actually worthless to me. Sharpened 4? Golden Carrots I can use to make... Ah! Yes, friends. Oh wait, I have to get off first. Hold up. Alright, fine, fine. We'll do it this way. We're just gonna go straight in. No chill. Zero chill. Wait. 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 Where's the... Where's the Vex spawner? Where's the Vex spawner? Alright, you know what? There's no Vex spawner. There definitely is, but look at that. We already got a skull. Boom. Pog. And... Nice. Got some more loot here. I'm probably not going to show doing this whole tower. They do take a little bit of time. I'm just interested in the Wither Skeletons. We got a special boy. Past tense. Had a special boy. And our inventory is already full. Oh my god. Skull number two. Oh, this is going well. Alright, so we're gonna... Dude, advance prot before if I sat there and took enough hits. That's three skulls. If I sat there and took enough hits, I would notice my first heart of health disappear. But now that I have advanced prot, I, I don't even see... Oh, oh, he's fast. He's a fast boy. I don't even see any damage being taken. I need to make my sword... Whoa. I see lag, though. I need to make my sword better, for sure. So that way I can kill stuff with armor. I don't have any protection against armor. And also, I want to get... Oh, wow, there's the Vex spawner. I'm an idiot. I knew there was a Vex spawner. I want to get more Talitus, so that way I can actually increase the amount of damage I do, like, continuously, just keep doing more and more damage. Because I cannot believe that I killed that villager, that's so dumb! Alright, zombies, not interested in you. I guess while I am here, I can use this opportunity to talk about um, an announcement I made. So I put out a post on, well I tweeted it, I put it on Discord. By the way, join the Discord if you haven't yet. Super cool Discord, full of a lot of nice people. It's becoming, we just hit 100 members. So it's becoming more crowded in there. There's a lot of cool conversations you can take part in. And you always get notified immediately whenever new videos come up. So definitely, definitely check out the Discord link in the description. But uh, anyways, I posted it in there. I posted it on Twitter and I posted it on the the, like, YouTube board thing, like, the discussion board thing, which no one ever gets to see because it, it sucks. That's just how YouTube does their things. Let's go over here. Can I make this? Oh, I, I was trying to go inside of it, but you know that works. Alright, Vex spawner, no. Ooh, emeralds! Yes, please! I need lots of emeralds. I'm losing my voice, if you haven't noticed, also. So my voice sounds a little raspy, or like I lose, like you, you can kind of hear it. It's been, it's been a long weekend, and 
I don't think I'm sick, but I, I might be coming down with something, at least just like losing my voice. I don't know. It's been, it's been Black Friday, you know, it's been busy at work. It's been disgusting. It's been whatever. Um, anyways, I posted in Discord and on social medias that I am going to be doing a charity live stream on December 13th and probably even before December 13th, to be honest. Uh, it's anyways, it's going to be j like Jacksepticeye and Tiltify have posted a charity stream to help basically pay for people to, that can't afford to get food because of COVID and all that. And I made a goal of raising $100 that I would match. So that way we'd raise $200. And then overall, there is going to be a anonymous donor that is also going to match up to $1.5 million for the charity. Meaning that if we raise $100, I match it, and then he matches us, we would have raised $400 collectively. So if you guys could be there on December 13th, um, I'll definitely have more updates both on the channel and in Discord about it. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know. I'll probably also pin a comment in the comment section down below. Oh god, there's a, there's a blight boy over here. If you could not be a blight witch, that'd be appreciated. Get out of here. Not welcome. But yeah, there'll also be a comment that I'll pin in the description down- or sorry, in the comments below. And yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I would love if you guys could be there and help out reaching that goal. It'd be super cool. I believe in you guys. You can definitely do it. Alright, which is- I didn't come here for you, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find some more wither skeleton wither skeletons. All right, it is time to get some wither skulls. Oh hi, there's a lot of stuff out here actually. So I I only need like 13 skulls and I've already got a decent amount. So unfortunately, since it's daytime, they're definitely not gonna spawn over there. And I'm blind. Please give skull. Please give skull. Withers, please. I've got five so far. I can't, I cannot see anything. Is this a skeleton spawner? Yeah, we don't need skeleton spawners. Oh. Chunks, that was a terrible time for you to load. If you could not, I would very much so appreciate that. Oh, is that a skull? Oh, we got us a skull. What is shooting? Why are you here? Is the building on fire? Yeah, I desperately need to see. Oh, there's so many things in here. Look at all those emeralds. God, dude, I really need emeralds. Also, like, to work, the longer I record this episode, the, the harder it is to talk. I really am losing my voice, I feel. Not a big fan of losing my voice, not gonna lie. Although, then again, I don't know who would be a big fan of that, but, I mean, you never know. Yeah, my face. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. We're doing the water bucket. And I'll even put on the special thing. Look at that, regular drank. Yeah, my face. Oh, be this. I know it is bright, but you could still spawn. Do I have any blocks? Not really. Otherwise, I would just block this in like I did last time. Well, I think it's becoming nighttime. Ooh, I see you cheeky hidden wither skull. Wait, but let me let me pick it up. Let me let me pick. I really have to shift this whole pile. Yeah, we got seven wither skulls. That's pretty much halfway since it's an odd number. Ooh, wait. Oh, it's just fortune. That's not bad though. I'll take. I'll take free loot. And it's becoming nighttime. I keep thinking that obsidian is a wither skull. Maybe if we get everything we need, we won't have to visit the other one. Especially since I don't quite know where the other one even is. So while we're waiting for this, let's get rid of you. You're gross. 
Take your emeralds. Let's go downstairs. Hi, guys. What's up, friends? It's going to be a slaughterhouse down here. I've already got 60 levels of XP. I'm trying to make that almost 100 since at the beginning of the episode, I may have lost out on some XP, you know? I may have wasted 100 levels or so, you know, no big deal. But I kind of want a refund for that because it kind of is a big deal. That's a lot of XP. I, I can't hit that spider. Strength and Vitality 3 is real nice. But I know you can get even more hearts. I mean, I do still need to reroll a lot of my items so I can get hearted. Since a lot of them have like speed and stuff, which after a certain amount of speed, you kind of don't need more, right? Speaking of speed, do I still have- oh, I do. I still have the, the thing on, so I move like lightning speed and water. Yeah, my face. You guys thought you were so safe up here. Tis wrong. Twiz the nizzle before the shizzle. Get out of here. Get out of here. I love these structures. They're so much fun. Because they spawn just the right amount of mobs where, yeah, it's a lot. But it does not lag your game into oblivion. You can actually just, you know, play the game and exist. Oh. Hi. Can I... Nice. My weapon ruined the XP I get for them. I still need a weapon without education. Uh, it's geared to you. Take some iron. And it's geared to you since you give me more iron. It's not quite worth getting out a... Uh... Are you good, friend? What the hell is that? I know if you continuously kill a player in like... A, on a server, that will happen. Or when they respawn, they'll just keep like flailing like that, but... I didn't know that happens to mobs, what? You know, there's something so beautiful about this shader that just makes sun do like that. It's not quite ray tracing, but it's still, you know, it's just pretty. I got two of these spawners left, and I think that's it for withers. I think the rest of them have cleared. Oh wait, no, I got three. All right, we got three wither spawners left. Nothing left in here. The spawner's broke. Yeah, no. I think that's it. We have eight wither skulls. So if we could just get... If we could just get five wither skulls from these spawners. Oh, we've got some takers. And they're not givers, obviously. No wither skull for me. Please? No. Please? Nope. Please? But, but please? Alright, it's officially nighttime now. So they should actually start dropping stuff. Uh, let's ditch. Sugar's pretty replaceable. Let's have a sugarcane farm now. We're gonna pick up the coal, because why not? Guys, not only are you not spawning, but you're not giving me what I need. Hey, we got one. Two spawners are down, and we got... Get, get out of here. Nobody likes you guys. We got one. Um, I need to keep that flower. We're going to pick up the sword. What does it got? Knockback? No. We got one spawner left. I actually, this episode is already pretty long, so I don't think we're going to go to the second one of these structures. We'll probably do that in the next episode so we can farm some more of the skulls. And then in the next episode, we'll also build like the beacons and stuff. Come on, guys. Lucky. Hey, look at that. That's 10. You just need three. Oh, oh, that's 11. Oh, he picked it up. That's 11. Come on, you know you can, you know you want to do it. You know you, he's not, they're not going to, nope. One more. And nope. Well, we ended up with 11 Wither Skulls. And overall, this was a very productive episode. So yep, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like and wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, I saw you. Why are you out there? I don't have the jump speed. You know, you come in here. Come on. Wither? No? 
No? That was it? Was he the only one? Yeah, he was the only one. Alright, well, that could have been good. Uh, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, this has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all. Dude, look at the amulet! It shows it on my... That's cool. It shows it around my neck. This has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!